Now that we've taken some of the Dumog positions and done them out of sparring, made it a little bit combative, we're going to take Tom over here now and we're going to reiterate everything from the very beginning. Okay, Tom. The first position we showed was the inner forearm. What we do is after we hit here or take this nerve is we're going to pull. As I pull with my left hand, I'm pushing down with my right. This is just a review now. Watch the head. The temple will expose itself to the headbutt the second that I pull. That's where we want it right there so that's the first position boom the second position would be time to get you over here please is the outside form so as i pull here boom it's the same thing if we use the inner arm i can be in this position in which i would pull straight down or i can be in this position the outside and i'm just simply pushing if we use the other arm it's the same thing we're doing it here or we're pushing here so these are the positions if you just tried to move a man without knowing these positions He's going to naturally ground. Get me a good stance, Tom. If I want to just try to move him, it's going to be a struggling match. But the minute I just make one position and change, that's what's going to give me the illusion that I'm a lot stronger than I am. So now that we've covered both of the hands, let's work our way to the head. The first position was just to pull him this way. We can take him all the way down with this, or we can just take him into the headbutt. That's up to us. We can spin him all the way to the ground, or we can just spin him under the knee. That's up to us like a cantaloupe. You can lay it down or you can smash it. The important thing is that we know all the positions, we have a training method to accommodate that, and it gradually escalates till it's more and more combative. Now, as I've said before, Dumag is the ability to move a person from point A to point B. You're understanding the body's choke points. You're knowing positions on the body that are more conducive to moving somebody, a lot of weight. But you have to understand, before you can do that, you have to loosen them up. You've got to get in headbutts, knees, and elbows to loosen up the body, and then you move them. Then we can turn them into takedowns, complete takedowns. Now, I'm going to show you the headbutts, knees, and elbows, but we can't actually do it. That's another tape. But we are going to do the takedowns. Okay, Tom, come here. Let's say Tom jabs, and bam, I take it out of commission. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take that nerve. As I enter here, boom, and I'm trying to get that face, this is where my position is. This is where I land. Boom, that's my shot on the floor. My first takedown is the first technique I taught you. I just, boom, swing right to here. So we can use it as a takedown, provided we got enough hits in. So once again, slow, it's boom, 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 boom. Then, bam, that's our takedown. Now, if we do the same move, let's try it from this angle, Tom. Give me a jab. It's going to be in the outside line. Same position, but it's the outside doom up. Now, once again, that would be a headbutt. Neglecting the headbutt, going straight for the takedown. Boom. That's our takedown. So, look at it again. Tom jabs. I just going to hear, bang, I'm going to get all that in, and then, boom. That's my takedown. If I go to the other arm, as soon as he jabs here, boom, I'm just going to take him down on this side. So, each doom of position can be a takedown. If I go past both arms and go to the head, then we're going to use the head, boom, for a takedown. That's the position. So regardless if it's a head or an arm, after you've hit the guy, Dumas can be a wonderful takedown. You don't need to grab a gi, don't need to grab clothes, and everyone's got arms and legs to grab. Well, thanks for hanging with us. Just remember, Dumas is the ability to move a person, and that's an important thing in a street fight. When Dan and Bruce were investigating all the different styles to figure out what was the best matrix of systems for street fighting. They needed some art that can move a body from point A to point B. They discovered Tai Chi. They also discovered Dumog. It's a necessary element for a street fight. It will improve your, the power of your elbows, the power of your headbutts. When you're pushing and pulling and tugging a man, he has no way to possibly hurt you. All he can ever do to you is graze your skin. He can't hurt you. Even a Mike Tyson, if you're pulling the head, head, butt, knee, and an elbowing, and keeping him off balance, he's not going to be able to hurt you. And that's the only thing you're concerned with, is being knocked out in the fight. Today's as good of a day as any to die. So you don't care about your body. All you care about is not being knocked out. A few grazes, a few scrapes on the face, that we can deal with. And Dumag is going to guarantee you're not going to get hit with a solid blow. So thanks for being with us. 
and we'll see you in our next series. Bye.